Hello folks, this is Caleb, a.k.a. Cesarin. I've been working off, off camera on my little home base here. I thought I would do a little, uh, a little tour of what I've done. I've been running up to, I've been running up to the valley to grab some iron. Let's see if I bring up the map. I believe that right up in this area, I've been, I ran up through here and grabbed a bunch of iron right up through there. So I've made a few trips, or a couple trips I should say. I've been able, so I've been able to put together this blacksmith's table, bench, and a uh, wheel of pain. I've got my furnace, armor's bench, tanner, carpenter's bench, blacksmith's bench. I'll be able to start collecting thralls to put it, to occupy these positions. Uh, let me take care of my throat here. And take care of my stomach before it becomes an issue. Now down below, I've decorated a little bit. I've got my, it's a little off center, I need to fix that, but I got my hyena head, my bed, little end table, it's a stool actually, but I'm using this end table. My chest where I just keep a few personal items. The table, some stools. I've got the fire pit in here, this is where I'll be cooking. I got some Stygian braziers. Over here I've got a brazier and over here a brazier. I need more braziers probably to light this place up. As a matter of fact, I'll do that. Um, let's see. I'm level 16. Most of the stuff I picked up is aesthetic stuff. Oh, I need to make this. How do I make this wine? Oh, I, okay. I can do that. I've got a few iron bars left over. I need to make all this earthenware stuff put on my table. 40 twine and 100 wood. There's a there's a strange bug. I kind of figured out how to get around it. If I split something, well, I think I have to add it to my inventory. I can't exit out. I'm hitting my escape key right now. However, if I come over and click one of these empty spaces, then I can exit out. So it's kind of weird. Shakira said hello, or said hi, and I responded back. Um, See, I'm hitting escape, but if I click on the blank box, boom, I can close it. So it's just a little technical thingy, but I've discovered how to get around it. I just have to remember to do that. Okay, I can make one of these. It'd be cool if it produced some wine. I doubt it does, but I'll find out. Hmm. There's something... Oh, I was going to make some more braziers. 
Okay. Let me stick this in here real quick. It's pretty heavy. I guess it would be if they're full. Uh, oh, oh, a little lag. I haven't had any lag. So, I, I've definitely narrowed down my lag issues to the recording software. I am recording a little, I'm recording at 60 frames per second at a high resolution, 1280 by whatever the 700 is, I guess 740, 720. I kind of wanted some pretty good videos, It's so the, I've got to have a trade-off. I'll just have to put up with the occasional lag. Four branches. That's kind of weird. That's just a strange, a strange, um, every brazier just has one branch. I don't know if that's to start the fire or what, but right, let's get this stuff out of here. And voila. The nights are really fast. That's the only thing I wish was different. Everything else is perfect. The crafting is perfect. The harvesting, the spawn rate, all of that's just right. It feels right. Unfortunately, the day-night cycle is just way too fast. Okay, let's stick a zero over here. Stick one over here. See if I can get in there. Um, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't get in there. Okay. Let's see if I can go around. There's another way to do it. There we go. Look at this. I bet I can get in there now. Look at that. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. Oops, I might be stuck. Oh, I didn't want to go out here. Stick one in this corner. And let's see, I got one in the kitchen, I got one over there. Stick one right here in the middle. Okay, I just gotta run around it when I come upstairs. Leg, okay. Yeah, I'll bang into it as I'm coming up the stairs. The lag in this game is a little weirder than Seven Days to Die because your in-game character actually continues with the action that you were doing while your lag hits. But in Seven Days to Die you just stop, you freeze right there in the spot. So it's kind of weird. I put it out here, I've got a dock. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I just thought it would be a nice aesthetic. Let's grab that wine, those uh, wine barrels, and put them out somewhere. So I put them down here. Maybe like I don't know. Let me see if this works. There is wine. I can make. I can make wine. Okay. I don't know how. I'll have to figure it out. I need grapes. Obviously, I might have some grapes. 
you can get some grapes just by picking the brush. No, this is stone. My stone stuff. Here are my seeds and stuff. Okay. Uh, grape seeds. I'll have to plant some grapes. Aquatic plants seeds. Yellow lotus seeds. Okay, well, I've got some grape seeds, but no grapes. Unless I stuck some in here. Nope, it's all meat. Might as well finish this one off. That's not going to let me. don't want this feral flesh. It's gonna get dark again, y'all. See, the lag just threw me off my dock. <laughs> oh, this, this is where I can go fishing. Oh man, if they added fishing to this, if I could throw, if I could stand here with a some kind of rod, with a line, toss it out there and catch some fish. I don't think I would ever do any PvP. I would just, I just live here, virtually. I did that with Skyrim. I would play Skyrim and I downloaded a bunch of mods and I would just do nothing but hunt and fish, do trapping, mining. I think I've played several levels before I even had to fight some thieves or some bandits. Unfortunately, this is a... Well, I wouldn't say unfortunately. It's actually... Fortunately, it's a multiplayer server. And people want to do some PvP, so there'll be a little bit of action. I say fortunately because these are a bunch of good people. I probably, I don't know, should I reveal my plans for the future? What I'm going to do is recreate a my thrall village, except I'll expand it into an actual city. I'm still assuming that I can do passive thralls. If I can, then I'll make it work. If I can't, I'll just pick up the thralls and stick them in a box and then pull them out during P to, uh, during the weekend for PvP. But what I want to do is create a thrall city and I might try to expand I might try to create um, the tier 3 materials tier 2, tier 3 and bring them down here into the oasis most people are building up here